This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, Envy Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel, Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. This is The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. I want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition. King of the Court Basketball Championship is back. And we have here with us Steve Parlon, the man who's always committed to doing this. And he's doing it again this year. Steve, welcome to The Big Story. Good day, Kathy. Thanks for having me back again. <laughs> Feels like I, um, I need a spot in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, home is home, right? Yeah, yeah, this is my home. This is my home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, King of the Court is happening again this year. This time it's not on Virgin God, it's on Tortola. Right. Let's get a rundown as to what's coming down this year. What's going into the planning of the event this year? Well, first of all, thank, thank you, Virgin God, for hosting us last year. And last year we were just a three point shootout. But this year we have expanded the event into a tournament and a three-point shootout so we're now a little bigger and sorry to say that Virgin Garda was not able to accommodate this event because um, we actually have teams coming in um, last year we had players that came in yeah. for shooting but now we have actual full teams that are coming in so we have a, a very excited excited three days of tournament and shootout and trust me, it's going to be a lot of basketball action. Basketball been missing in action, but trust me, this one here is going to be the one for the ages. Trust oh, me. Wow. I, I, I like how you push the plug there a lot to, to make sure that there is some tourism taking place. You're contributing to that, not just the sport, mm -hmm. but, you know, before you brought just a few individuals from different right. countries. Now teams and, and a team, each team comprises of no less than what 12 13 right, 12 sometimes yeah. yeah i think some are coming with at least like 15 persons so that's a accommodation for how many teams you have coming uh we have a total of five teams coming in mm, which countries Tell so we have uh, we have st kitts uh we have central Stacia, we have anguilla we have santo domingo and we have u.s virgin islands oh wow why you decided to go um, for full teams this year and have full tournaments going on right. this year? So last year, actually last year it was doing, a, um, it, uh, we was eating at a spot. I had the players that came in and we were talking about Caribbean basketball and we were talking about Liba. If you remember, there used to be a tournament called Liba, Leeward Island Basketball Association. It was a tournament between the Leeward Islands, Antigua, St. Kitts. They were great tournament. That's when I started with the national team. Okay. It was in the 90s, 80s and 90s, and um, it discontinued. But it was like, there were like great um, small tournaments that, you know, they were exciting and, you know, they went away from it. And so we was talking about, man, we need to bring back Liba because right now it seems like FIBA, is not really studying the Caribbean Islands. There, there haven't been any tournaments in, in, in a bit from FIBA, that's FIBA qualifying tournaments. We have all this talent in the, uh, in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We're not you know, meeting up and, and going against each other. So they say, hey, why not add a tournament to it? So I said, I'm gonna look into it. Obviously, you know, doing a tournament is a, is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of expense. If you don't have the government on your side, not just here, but the different countries, it's a real struggle for the other teams to come and it, that's what it has been mm -hmm. we talk about it we predicted it and now it's happening so 
there are challenges. Um, what are some of those challenges? Well, the challenges are with a tournament like this. Obviously, the host country can't. We can't afford to fly teams in. Yeah. Still give them accommodation, hotel, food, food and, and all that stuff. Yeah. So they have to incur uh, certain expenses. So in my invitation, I I told them that if if we want to make this possible, they will have to incur those expenses. Mm. And then, as we went along. It became so difficult for them. I had to offer them certain um, accommodations, like hotel. Some of the teams I'm offering them hotel. Some some rooms, mm -hmm. you know, not all the rooms, but you know, it, it it made it a little more difficult for me, mm -hmm. because obviously the BVI has become a place where sponsorship um, has become very mediocre. You understand? Meaning that you don't get a lot of money for sponsorships no more, like you used to back in the days. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult. It's a challenge, but to me, it's something that's needed because when last have we had a, a, a regional um, Caribbean basketball um, tournament, tournament here? It's been now eight years. The last one was 2015 when we had the CBC mm. here. It's not CBC level, but, you know, it's something where people are coming to represent their country, you know, and some of those countries that are coming have a lot of natives that live here. On, on this island and so you know I think that people are looking forward to just seeing some great basketball action mm, okay uh, what, what was the prices like so you know when I was trying to price this event for me the motive was not trying to make money mm -hmm. to me the motive was let's get people back in the gym as you all know we had a, a, um, a drought mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it a drought because we didn't have air condition in the gym for a lot of years and now thanks to the government and the recreation trust we now have air condition back in the gym oh. sometimes we have to tell them to turn it down so it's booming <laughs> oh, really it's, that it's good? booming yes it's wow. booming trust Ooh. me the air condition is booming there's no more excuse that the gym is hot mm -hmm. so what we did we put together a season pass okay so the season pass for adult is just twenty dollars okay. so there's three nights and there's um there's two set of the games, Friday and Saturday, and so that season pass gets you into the whole weekend. Okay. Just twenty dollars. Okay. If you want to come one day. If you want to come one day, it's ten dollars. Okay. So you actually get a ten dollars off that could buy you a drink and a popcorn, whoever the vendors gonna have there, and you get a chance to come out and support Team BVI. Uh, we're putting a very good team together. We have some of our overseas players that are coming in mm -hmm. uh, next couple of days to be with the team. And you know, just come out. Let's yeah, Who let's coaching the local team. Um, the coach for the local team is Brian Broly, um, 88, Kit Malone, who was the previous head coach, and Trevor West Stevens. So, what we did with the BVI team is we compiled it of uh, Virgin Garda and Tatola players. So, we have at least five players from Virgin Garda and okay. about seven players from BVI, five local and two coming in from I overseas. Mean, uh, from the others are from Totola, BVI. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, from Totola, yeah. well, they're from the BVI too. <laughs> yeah, so we have we have about five players from Virgin Garda and about five from Totola and two coming in from overseas, overseas. that are BVI landers. Okay, so, uh, so what's up for grabs? Well, the um, the title is King of the Courts, right? Yeah. So we're trying to see who who's, who's going to be the King of the Court. But this is tournament, but then we still got a shootout to deal with. We still have the shootout, so... On the, on the Saturday night, which is the um, which is the championship night, we're gonna have the shootout in between the third place game and the championship game. So the shootout, I'm gonna have one player representing each one of the countries, and then I think additionally we're gonna have about two more islands that only selling shootouts. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have more islands participating in the shootout, but they're gonna be six countries in the tournament. Okay. So, Thursday night, next week Thursday, that's the 30th, we're starting off with a banger. It's Stacia versus Santo Domingo and BVI versus USVI straight off the top. Ooh. We're Ooh. going to see the Battle of the Virgin Islands. Who's the real Virgin Islands? Stand Ooh. up. <laughs> and you know, we, it's still fresh in our mind. What happened with softball? You know USVI just beat us in softball. Yeah. We got some payback for them. I've been reminding the national team every day, guys. <laughs> this is a big game. This ain't just Listen, you're the about promoter. the game. You got to be neutral. 
listen, I am the promoter, you understand? I am the promoter, and I am mean neutral. I am just here with the team, and I'm, and I'm telling them that they need to be prepared. <laughs> you understand? That's, that's all it is. So, so the, for, the, for the shootout, the part... Uh, the persons who are going to be shooting for some of the countries, they, they will be coming from the team. They will be coming from, from the team, team of the play. countries. So okay. each team is going to provide, provide a shooter that will represent them in the shootout. Mm. And that will be on the Saturday night. But it's open to them if they decide, to look, I want to bring somebody who's just going to be If they want to bring somebody but, who's just, just shooting, just, just just shooting yeah. they can. But if you really think about how a basketball team is, is put together, you also have a designated shooter on a team. Every mm. team needs... A designated shooter because mm. you always have to have one of those on your team, so every team is gonna have a designated shooter. Mm. You're not gonna bring just someone from out the street who could just shoot. You understand? Um, obviously, you're shooting off a rack, so you're gonna need somebody who could actually play basketball to just come in and shoot. It just it don't work like that. We have, we had some guys from um from Virgin Guard, uh, I think last uh, last time mm -hmm. you had the shootout. Yeah, we Young did. guys that are, that shoot real good potential. Right. Some of them coming back to play. Some yeah, actually one of those actually one of those players is actually gonna be playing with the BVI team. Mm. One of the young guys, we we do have one young um one young player on the team, about I think he's about maybe seventeen or eighteen years old. Mm. So he's gonna be on the team. But for the shootout we will have a separate V Virgin Garda and Tatola will have separate shooters. Oh, so Okay, so and, and USBA are gonna have one from St. Thomas Six, and St. Croix because okay. the USBA team is compiled of St. Croix and St. Thomas players. So, it's just, so like just for the shootout, <laughs> yeah, we just, for the shootout apart. <laughs> just for the shootout, just for the shootout, we're gonna we're gonna keep it a little personal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and obviously, um, Rick Victor should be um be coming to so um defend his chair. Yeah, although he's dealing with a little illness right now, I'm not ah. too sure, but he's not he's not healthy right now. Mm. You know, he has an injury right now, but um, oh. we'll see what happens. If not, we'll probably just have to plug in one of the other brothers for him, you know. Okay, So yeah. the brother may have to come in and um and try to hold the string I remember it was a big thing for Ray Victor the last time. It was so funny. Oh, I'm carrying a Guyana flag. <laughs> I was born again. I'm carrying a Guyana flag. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. you know, Ray, Ray Victor is actually, um he's one of the key players on the um Guyana national team, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he, I mean, although, and it happens, I mean, they're, there are players who are born in other countries, but their native country, sometimes yes. they go to represent their native country. Yes. And that's why it's very important. As I said, that it's very important, even for us, we have to get our national basketball program back on track because just like how Ray would go and play for his native country, we could have our own BVA players that we could lose the same way. Mm -hmm. Because remember, most, and I just want to say most by now, because most, BVI bond players, they have parents that are not from here. Mm. So based on the FIBA rules, they can go back and play for their native country. So we have a really good player here, and let's say both the, their parents from St. Kitts. If St. Kitts national team show more interest into that player, they could send for them, give them a St. Kitts passport, register them under their national team, and they'll go play for their national team and come and play against us and kill us. Wow. So that's why it's so very I'm important. I'm feeding you, I'm training you, but then you could still yes, go, uh, go exactly, to the benefits of Exactly. Exactly. So else. that's that's why we have to we have to start back on national program and start getting these guys from uh, from a young age. And it, it's something that you know I have so much going on with my life with school and with my fish business, but it's something that I'm actually thinking about putting an extra dedication into. It's getting on national programs back together because what's, these, what's keeping it from being being um structure together? organization you know the right the right basketball uh federation being put together you know and just you know it's just communication that's a big thing we lack here in the bvi so the federation is not the not federation is now currently dissolved as i was told um and there will be new voting so hopefully when the new federation is formed there's something that a proposal i'll put forward to them because the federation governs basketball, mm -hmm. but to me, when it comes to the national team, to me, the national program needs a separate committee oh, okay. that deals solely with national teams. Okay, so we're farming national teams from junior level up. Most of the big countries, like Puerto Rico and those bigger countries, their national teams are so good because they have national teams from the under 16 level up so they already know who their national players are 
for the next 20 years because they know that Raul is, is doing good on the 16 and in the next four years he'll be playing for the senior national team. And as they go up and the ones who are on the senior go out and they still keep them on board mm -hmm. to help mentor. And there's something that I want to do as well, keep the, 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 the older veterans like myself and Kennedy Bass and get them involved in the national team. Even if they're not playing, have them on coaching staff, have them mentoring, but bringing the program up so that way we can start registering our players, having them involved, going to the different national tournament under 16, under 21. I would say realistically right now for the BVA, we could probably have three national teams, under 16, under 21, and then the senior national team. Mm. We're not so big, but I feel we could, we could start working with those three age range. It's not like if we don't have the players. Like we, we have the players. Guys we have the players. Great potential. We have, we have the players. Demoy, exactly. Dave, you know, set it such a great And example. right now, right now, right now, I mean, unfortunately for this tournament, we, because I would say this will be our B team, because mm -hmm. every country have the A team, the B team, and the C team. And obviously, depends on the level of the tournament. If it was a big, let's say if it was a qualifying tournament like CBC, then we would, we would, be more forced to put together all a team okay. so we'll have guys like leslie um leslie uh, smith cleon penn Iral penn um demoy and those guys coming home but we still have to use some of these locals guys because we don't have 12 players abroad that we could bring in like some yeah. countries now mm. like usva they, they they're they flying in 12 players you understand puerto rico they're flying in 12 players they have that amount of players Abroad, oh, wow, that, they could that yeah, because together. like I said, they're filtering players from a young age, sending them to college, they're going professional, and so they have a big fleet to choose from. Wow, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, while while what you're doing is just a small portion of getting things back together, the fact is that something is being done, and you know, uh, you're leading in, in this area. Well, to be honest, Kathy, I, I and I told I told a lot of my colleagues in basketball. Basketball has been done. Let's be real. If you ever been a part or had interest in basketball in the BVA for, for about the last 20 years, you would know basketball ran the route around here. Mm. You understand? I came from the era where basketball ran the route. We were the, more, the most popular sport here. Basketball games were the most attended games here. The hype leading up to the league was the best here. Don't get me wrong, Sarbar had a thing, track and figure thing, but none of them could have contest with basketball. Mm. But right now, uh, basketball is at the bottom, if you ask me. And I've been, been honest, cricket has more hype than basketball right now. They have more attendance. Soccer has more hype, more attendance. Softball, track and field. And basketball, to me right now, basketball has become less. Why? Why do you think that's happening? To me, right, there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of variables. Number one, I feel like the era of basketball is not the same, and I'll tell you why. When I was growing up, we didn't have all the social media. We found ourselves out in the guts, running, chasing fowl, climbing trees, and we develop more motor skills. Motor skills deals with your balance, your coordination. Those are natural ability. I'm a, I'm a PE teacher at Elmo Stout. I could tell you straight up. When students come in, into Elmo Stout from 7th grade, some of them don't even know how to run properly. They lack that motor skills. And because of that, we lack our athletes coming in a little more prepared to develop a skill into a sport and become great into that sport. So unless you have programs, grassroots programs, from young, outside of what you would do in school, you will find athletes struggling to become great athletes as they progress into mm. their, their careers or whatever sport they're doing. Mm. So back in our days, like I said, we concentrated more on outdoor sports and everything. So when we became basketball players, we were more um, sound basketball players. We were, we were more versatile than a lot of players now. To me, they're a little behind. And to me, that drop the competition level because oh. we don't have the competition is not as stiff as it used to that that's number one number two the gym the ac not having air condition in the gym have basically killed the league for the last couple of years people don't want to come in 
They were great Wait, games last year. I played in the league. Yeah. I won my team Mega Mix from the second. We won the championship last year to about maybe 30 people watching in the stands. That's just ridiculous because people don't, you can't blame them. You understand? You're coming into a hot gym. There's no ventilation. We as the players, we are, they're struggling as well. We can't play at a high level because, you know, we, there's, there's no air conditioning gym. You're playing in heat. So there's a lot of different things that, that added to that. No, thank God we have air condition. Yeah. No it's getting better. No, we can we can use this tournament as a platform to get people back into basketball and then we need to now go to the drawing board and bring back our summer league to a level where people could appreciate basketball again. I, I have a logo that I created, it's called BBB and I want to start pushing it. It's called bring back basketball okay okay and meaning bring back basketball is we need to bring back basketball um as as something top in our culture that it used to be we always look forward to basketball here the basketball league was something we always look forward to in the summer coming out socializing and even to get all adults the adults to me they don't even support basketball anymore when you go to basketball what do you see mostly yeah young, young people, people. though to me like the adults don't come out and enjoy the games anymore like they used to when they used to have basketball yes you used to see the young people but there were still more adults coming to the games than the young people and we need to get people back into into the gym into watching basketball and this is your perfect opportunity because these ain't no play around games you understand we have people coming in teams flying in here they're coming out their personal packets to make this possible and I appreciate them because you know you could send invitations to people and they could they could they could not have any trust in you or in your product mm. and I would and I would like to thank them because these these persons who are responsible for bringing these teams they they saw the king of the court last year some of them was here they saw it was organized they like the atmosphere they like the BVI um, interaction into basketball and they are very hyped for coming they expect the same thing Virgin Garda showed out last year we had a boat ride went over Tatola we went over supported Virgin Garda I expect the same thing hopefully Speedies could give me at least a one or two nights and the Virgin Garda people could come over because guess what you got five persons from Virgin Garda on the national team so it's just not Tatola thing it's a BVI thing yeah then you got the the the, the, the shoot down team yeah and we need the support yeah. so you know hopefully um you know I'm gonna talk to Carly Speedy is one of the sponsors and helping us with getting the players to come over um for the for the practices and stuff like that Ourselves. and again thank you to all the sponsors JTV you know I don't have to ask no question. I could, I, I automatically just put you guys down because <laughs> I know you guys are always there and I know you're going to give me some coverage. Um, we have some additional coverage that, that we're going to have as well. Um, I'll uh, post more about that um, closer to the time. All the links, you'll be able to watch the games. But we prefer for you to be in the stands to come and support. Yes. And come support your BVI team because we need that six man in the stands. We need all these teams to feel like they shouldn't be here <laughs> when they come in our gym. When they come in our gym, and you know those Spanish people coming to support their, oh, their yes. teams. Yes, and the Filipinos. And, you know, and so you know we need, we need all people to come in. I know there's a bunch of BVI apparels all over the island. I don't... And so come in your BVI apparels. Come with your flags. Come represent. Come represent <laughs> next week, Thursday. March 30th, multi-purpose complex. Again, the AC is working. I don't want to hear no more hot gym excuses. Okay, thanks to Eustos, Boss, and those people at the complex. We're going to have everything set. We're, we're planning to have everything legit for you. We're even planning our, our, our lounge on the court, court side. Okay. Where you could be like you're hanging out at a bar, but oh. watching the game. Okay. So we got some different stuff in store, you know. I'm a promoter, so you, you know. You got, you got it done, Pac. You know, we're we going to trust you on that. Exactly. All right, so, so we're looking forward to, to everything going crisp, yes. clean. Everything is on yes. track right now. Everything is on track right now. And so just, you know, come and, come and support, man. That's it. That's all, all right. I can say. Come and support. Come and support. Come and, and support. remember the AC working. The AC working. In the come and support. Complex. $20 up until the, la the first night. 
You can even buy your season pass. When you come in, they're just telling you you want a season pass. You pay $20, you don't have to pay again mm -hmm. for the weekend, okay? It don't get no, to me, that's like a layup. Yeah, you know yeah. in basketball when you have a layup, like that's, <laughs> If you if you don't get a season pass, mm -hmm. you miss the layup. You miss the layup. You miss the layup. <laughs> uh, you want to go for a three pointer? Pay three ten dollars each night. That's a three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can take the layup. Twenty dollars. You, you got it all set. All right. So you remember from the thirtieth, the thirty first, and the first of April. That's the championship and, night. Yeah, that's the way. And you the gotta be. Yes, you got yes. to be at the multi-purpose yes. sports complex. Uh, it's happening this year yes. on Turtle, and you heard it all from Steve. Yes. Find him wherever he is if you think you need to support in some way or the other, because you know we want this to happen. Can I big up? Can I big up all the sponsors real quick? Quickly. Yes. Okay, so we got Ross Reliable Online Services, the Edge Nightclub, Bobby's JTV, Sky High, Infosonic, uh, Fish Mobile. That's my company. Uh -huh. Skeleton Groups are company. Najico. Um, Caribbean Insurance, Honorable Natalia Whitley, Honorable Kevin Malone, Honorable Kai Reimer, Honorable Neville Chip Smith, Honorable Shireen Flax, CCT, 284 Media, Mr. Nice Guy, Touchdown, Caribbean Sellers, Bugal, that's going to be your drink for the tournament, so look out for a lot of Bugal this and Bugal that. Okay. Don't get too drunk, okay. drive responsibly. <laughs> quality um, construction, quality air condition, speedies, as I mentioned earlier, and La Casita. So I got a little bit of the Spanish. Thing okay. involved all right so you yes. got it like loaded all right yes. so you got it the dates are all set you know where you're gonna be this week uh next weekend uh from thursday friday saturday the big night it's saturday a lime it's a lime it's, it's a lime hey, right. hey listen real talk back in the days right basketball with a lime meaning like you see how people will go for half so people come dressed up and yeah, yeah because yeah. basketball is like your intro to the night you come you're sharp you come basketball, the AC, you're going to get sweaty, you're good. And when you're done, you got all kind of lime going on. Uh, so, so we could, we could get um, a halftime kind of sign. Uh, because you never like know. Mid, mid game, so. All right, so there you have it. It's on next weekend. The multi-purpose sports complex is where you got to be. Steve would have told you it all. So make sure you be there. I want to thank you so much for spending time with us here on The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. 
but with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. to enjoy life, like so many ways to count on Popular. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus.